Welcome back into the grind, Cajun Nation. Four games last week, three wins. Boy, does that sound good. Let's take a look at how it happened. Sunbelt Conference play started this weekend, and the Cajuns kicked it off with a series win over Troy. On Friday, it was the Gunner Leger Show. Eight strikeouts in seven innings before Jevin Huval and Dylan Moore came in and shut the door for the 4-2 win. On Saturday, Wyatt Marks got chased from the game early, but if you're looking for a bright note, Steven Sensley did have three hits in the 1-4 loss. Then on Sunday, hello Alex Pinero, four for five with a home run as the Cajuns picked up an eight to three win and Dylan Moore got his second save of the weekend. Then if you look at the midweek, it was a 10 to one clubbing of Northwestern State where Brian Mills went three for six at the top of the lineup with four RBIs. That a way to fill in with Kyle Clement out. Now let's get to your grinder of the week. This one is historic. Your grinder of the week this week is none other than Demo, Dylan Moore. As a sophomore, he already is the career saves leader for the Cajuns, as he picked up two more this weekend against Troy. He now leads the Sun Belt Conference in that category, and he has 17 strikeouts in only 10 innings. Take him to Funky Town, Demo. Now, let's take a look forward at who's coming into town. Buckle up, Cajun Nation. It's about to be a fun ride this week. The Cajuns return home where they have a perfect record to face Little Rock, who's got a 6-10 record on the year, but they got swept by South Alabama in their series opener, allowing 26 runs in that series. Now, the Cajun pitchers have to be careful with their senior outfielder, Ryan Scott. He leads the Sun Belt Conference in average. He's almost hitting 500, and he has five home runs, too. Yeah, that leads the Sun Belt as well. Just pitch around him if need be, if you need to get the W. Now, we don't want to look past the midweek as the Cajuns will be traveling out to Metairie to play LSU in the Wally Pond of Classic. It's always a good one when the Tigers and the Cajuns get together, and it's a big hit for the RPI, too. Remember, you can catch the midweek game on ESPN 1420 and all weekend action on KPL 96.5. And stay tuned here on The Grind all year long.